Hello, I'm Bishop Doug Desitel of the Diocese of Lafayette. From the beginning of his public ministry, Jesus faithfully and purposely proclaimed the good news of the kingdom of God. This proclamation echoes through the lives of the apostles and saints and in Catholics of our day, bringing good news to the poor, the captive, the blind, and the oppressed. Through our baptism, we share in Jesus' same mission. He promised that whoever believes in him will do the same and even greater work. Pope Francis teaches us that we are all called to be holy, living our lives with love and bearing witness in everything we do, wherever we find ourselves. By doing this, we serve one another as good stewards of God's faithful grace, honoring the apostles and the saints, even the legacy of the souls whom no history book ever mentions. The Second Vatican Council declared that Christ's call extends to all the faithful, called by the Lord, each in his or her own way. In response, the Diocese of Lafayette established the Bishop Services Appeal to better serve God's people with ministerial outreach. And you have answered with your financial support and your prayers. We celebrate the 50th anniversary of the BSA this year by living a legacy of faithfulness and purpose. Our commitment has been, and still is, to serve others together as modeled by the saints and commanded by our Lord. The Catholic communities of Acadiana enjoy a history of faithful apostolic service. In recent years, I've advanced the cause of three 20th century Louisiana saints, each one an example of Christ's love and mercy. The devoted adolescent Charlene Richard, military chaplain Father Verbus Lafleur, and educator Auguste Nonco Pelafide of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Responding to a similar call, contributors to the work of the Bishop Services Appeal have long invested in the needs of our families, our schools, the work of evangelization and Christian formation. You have engaged in disaster recovery and invested in pastoral care for the aged, the bereaved, and those with disabilities. In this anniversary year, I invite you to pursue the holiness of apostolic service in our day, giving generously to the ministries we support through the Bishop Services Appeal. We are living a legacy of faithfulness and purpose. Please make plans to do your part.
Would you please join us as we pray the rosary in honor of Our Lady, the Holy Rosary, for the intentions of our Holy Father, for Pope Francis, for Bishop Gerald Emeritus, for Bishop Desitel, for all our bishops and our priests, for our pastor, for religious vocations, especially within our diocese, America's success and our protection against terrorism, for those fighting for our freedom around the world, the conversion of sinners, the conversion of Russia, China, and all communist countries to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, for the physically, mentally, and spiritually ill, especially those of our parish, for the poor souls in purgatory, for a greater devotion to the rose of our Blessed Mother, and for an end to abortion, for our country, for all public officials, for an end to the coronavirus, for all those suffering the effects of the coronavirus, the fires, the floods, the hurricanes, the earthquakes, the tornadoes, and all our personal intentions. We also pray for much needed rain and for relief from the scorching heat. Let us here now consecrate our families to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary and ask that the blessings of Our Lady, the Queen of Peace, be with us. We pray for our Holy Mother's intentions and we ask our Blessed Mother and all the saints and angels to please pray with us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in hope, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in charitable love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was at the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, Jesus, forgive us our sins, sins save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, heaven especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The first glorious mystery the resurrection of our Lord from the dead. Our, our Father, Father who, art who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us, us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ into heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles and our blessed mother. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us, us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the assumption of our blessed and immaculate mother into heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was at the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, our blessed and immaculate Mother Mary, our Madonna's crowned queen of the universe. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, O vanished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in its valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. <laughs> o God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O Most Gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly into thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint John the Evangelist, pray for us. All the angels and all the saints, pray for us. Ave, ave, ave. Please turn to page 49 in your prayer booklet and let us recite the hurricane season prayer. O oh God, master of this passing world, hear the humble voices of your children. The Sea of Galilee obeyed your order and returned to its former quietude. You are still the master of land and sea. We live in the shadow of a danger over which we have no control. The gulf, like a provoked and angry giant, can await from its seeming lethargy, overstep its conventional boundaries, invade our land and spread chaos and disaster. 
during, during this, this hurricane season, season we, we turn, turn to you, O oh loving Father, spare us from past tragedies, whose memories are still so vivid, and whose wounds seem to refuse to heal with the passing of time. O oh Virgin Star of the Sea, our beloved Mother, we ask you to plead with your Son on our behalf, so that spared from the calamities common to this area, and animated with a true spirit of gratitude, we will walk in the footsteps of your divine Son to reach heaven at Jerusalem, where a stormless eternity awaits us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Hello, I'm Bishop Doug Desitel of the Diocese of Lafayette. From the beginning of his public ministry, Jesus faithfully and purposely proclaimed the good news of the kingdom of God. This proclamation echoes through the lives of the apostles and saints and in Catholics of our day, bringing good news to the poor, the captive, the blind, and the oppressed. Through our baptism, we share in Jesus' same mission. He promised that whoever believes in him will do the same and even greater work. Pope Francis teaches us that we are all called to be holy, living our lives with love and bearing witness in everything we do, wherever we find ourselves. By doing this, we serve one another as good stewards of God's faithful grace honoring the apostles and the saints, even the legacy of the souls whom no history book ever mentions. The Second Vatican Council declared that Christ's call extends to all the faithful, called by the Lord, each in his or her own way. In response, the Diocese of Lafayette established the Bishop Services Appeal to better serve God's people with ministerial outreach and you have answered with your financial support and your prayers. We celebrate the 50th anniversary of the BSA this year by living a legacy of faithfulness and purpose. Our commitment has been, and still is, to serve others together as modeled by the saints and commanded by our Lord. The Catholic communities of Acadiana enjoy a history of faithful apostolic service. In recent years, I've advanced the cause of three 20th century Louisiana saints, each one an example of Christ's love and mercy. The devoted adolescent Charlene Richard, military chaplain Father Verbus Lafleur, and educator Auguste Nonco Pelafigue of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Responding to a similar call, Contributors to the work of the Bishop Services Appeal have long invested in the needs of our families, our schools, the work of evangelization and Christian formation. You have engaged in disaster recovery and invested in pastoral care for the aged, the bereaved, and those with disabilities. In this anniversary year, I invite you to pursue the holiness of apostolic service in our day, giving generously to the ministries we support through the Bishop Services Appeal. We are living a legacy of faithfulness and purpose. Please make plans to do your part. Please stand for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
and the Word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord, amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. We have to understand pro-life and its larger context of what does it mean? Uh, pro-life means that God has given us life and he wants to share his divine life with us. So therefore we wish to help people to understand their dignity as uh, human persons with a purpose and a destiny. The pro-life apostolate within the Diocesan Office of Marriage and Family provides vital support, training, and resources to parish pro-life coordinators throughout the region. These pro-life coordinators have answered the call to live out their faith in the cause of life itself. I got started with pro-life advocacy uh, work when I started working with a pregnancy center uh, volunteering here in the Lafayette area and I realized how many of the women who came in the doors of the center were potentially abortion-minded and that a great deal of the work of the pregnancy center was to assist women and men in choosing life. Uh, at times uh, our culture has seemed to turn away to think of humanity as something that has just happened randomly and without having a connection with that divine purpose, it's very easy for people to lose the understanding and the concept of the true dignity of human life. The overturning of Roe versus Wade is an historic marker legislatively, but the work to change hearts and minds continues. I don't see that there's really an end to the pro-life movement. There is always gonna be people in a crisis pregnancy there will always be people um, in need, mothers in need. There will always be the threat of abortion. The pro-life movement isn't just about mothers and babies. What we have to do in the movement right now is to help people know that uh, in many cases you're already pro-life. Like I think sometimes we get so bogged down by the pro-life movement and what it means to be pro-life that we, we think we have to take a position that we either are or we're not but most of us already believe that every human being deserves to live with dignity. Life itself is God's greatest gift to the world. Education and advocacy for the sanctity of life in all its stages has been the 50-year legacy of the pro-life apostolate of the Diocese of Lafayette. Please give in this 50th anniversary year. We welcome you to the Cathedral of St. John the Evangelist, 
We also welcome our listeners and viewers who are joining us today via Catholic Radio for Acadiana, 90.5 and 99.5 FM and 12.30 AM, or live stream. Today we celebrate Wednesday of the 18th week in Ordinary Time, and the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is being offered for Special Intention, Beth Martin, Greg Johnson, and Milton G. Russweb. Our celebrant for today's Mass is Father Harold Trahan. Please stand as we begin. Good afternoon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Let us call to mind our sins. Saying prayers only eight times instead of nine. Or is it the person who left the fire in the church? If so, who are you? Novena never known to fail. If that were the case, there'd be peace within a week in the world. If that would be the case, all family divisions, alienations, and woundedness would finally be healed. If that would be the case, everyone's child and grandchild would begin going to Mass and confession every week. At this time, I would want to speak directly to the person who invented this novena. But they're nowhere to be found. Whoever invented it did so 50 years ago. They're dead and gone. Who wrote it? Who's responsible for it? I would like to speak to that person directly who invented this novena, but there's nowhere to be found, huh? In fact, the type of novena here has been found in churches ever since I've been ordained 50 years ago. I want to ask him this question. Do you not realize how insulting your novena may have been for a mother who for 25 years has prayed daily for her son's return to the church? Had it ever occurred to you? You insist that if she were to pray your novena her prayers for her son would at long last be answered in nine days? How dare you? You who remain anonymous with your superstitious novena, how dare you insult such a person of faith and not realize your error? Prayer is not about us and our wants and our needs. It's about the Lord will be done. In conclusion, please forgive me for my passion in this regard. Since I've been witnessing this foolish nonsense for over 50 years and I'm sick of it, now, if any of you disagree with me, I invite you. Bring this flyer to any priest you choose and ask him if he feels the distribution of such a flyer in the cathedral or the diocese of Lafayette is acceptable to him. Ask the priest if they would agree 
to have such novenas anonymously distributed in the church where they serve. Explain to them that my perspective is that it is based on superstition and does cause scandal and broken hearts. Otherwise, if you ever find one of these flyers, by all means, pick it up, and tear it up, and get rid of it, and pray that someday we will be freed from such garbage. For those who truly have needs in their heart, for those who might be tempted to rely on this because they want so much for their prayer to be answered, let us keep them in mind. And let us pray that someday the Lord will be able to say to them, my friend, great is your faith. Let it be done as you wish. In the spirit of faith, hope, and love, let us offer our prayers to the Father. For the universal church, may we remain a community united by faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who do not believe in God, through the intercession of St. Edith Stein, may they encounter Christ in a way that brings forth conversion. We pray to the Lord. For families impacted by separation or divorce, may God enter into their wounds and grant them his peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to religious and consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may they be welcomed into the merciful and gracious care of the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. The World Youth Day is now concluded. Our young people have returned home safely. That the Lord would be with them and bless them because of their experience that will touch their hearts for years to come. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father Justin, Father Seth, who are still on their way home, that they will have a safe journey home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Nourish us, O Lord, by your word and strengthen us by your holy sacrament. Through Christ our Lord.
pray that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift to us. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop Douglas, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray as the Lord Jesus has taught us. Our Father, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all the ways. Let us offer the sign of peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Hello, I'm Bishop Doug Desitel of the Diocese of Lafayette. From the beginning of his public ministry, Jesus faithfully and purposely proclaimed the good news of the kingdom of God. This proclamation echoes through the lives of the apostles and saints and in Catholics of our day, bringing good news to the poor, the captive, the blind, and the oppressed. Through our baptism, we share in Jesus' same mission. He promised that whoever believes in him will do the same and even greater work. Pope Francis teaches us that we are all called to be holy, living our lives with love and bearing witness in everything we do, wherever we find ourselves. By doing this, we serve one another as good stewards of God's faithful grace, honoring the apostles and the saints, even the legacy of the souls whom no history book ever mentions. The Second Vatican Council declared that Christ's call extends to all the faithful, called by the Lord, each in his or her own way. In response, the Diocese of Lafayette established the Bishop Services Appeal to better serve God's people with ministerial outreach. And you have answered with your financial support and your prayers. We celebrate the 50th anniversary of the BSA this year by living a legacy of faithfulness and purpose. Our commitment has been, and still is, to serve others together as modeled by the saints and commanded by our Lord. The Catholic communities of Acadiana enjoy a history of faithful apostolic service. In recent years, I've advanced the cause of three 20th century Louisiana saints, each one an example of Christ's love and mercy. The devoted adolescent Charlene Richard, military chaplain Father Verbus Lafleur, and educator Auguste Nonco Pelafide of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Responding to a similar call, contributors to the work of the Bishop Services Appeal have long invested in the needs of our families, our schools, the work of evangelization and Christian formation. You have engaged in disaster recovery and invested in pastoral care for the aged, the bereaved, and those with disabilities. In this anniversary year, I invite you to pursue the holiness of apostolic service in our day, giving generously to the ministries we support through the Bishop Services Appeal. We are living a legacy of faithfulness and purpose. Please make plans to do your part.